the coolness with which Hermann Burgos made saves was complete madness. As if he were just swatting away a fly. Look, with his shin, the Argentinian was a real wall. He saved thousands of shots for River. Here he saved two. He'd use his face if necessary. He would stop your strike with his nose. He also stopped one of Figo's missiles with his face. Allá va Figo! Pues no, lo tendré que borrar. El primero que falla Figo. Sí, la para con la cara. Afraid of the ball? Burgos wasn't afraid, not even when going up against Maradona. He wasn't a goalie, he was a machine. No más preguntas. Ahora, rock and roll. Eccentric and subversive, Germán Burgos was always true to himself. When it came to defending the goal, he said he trusted in God's pose. One knee on the ground and arms wide open. He was a different kind of goalkeeper, who made himself immense to stop the great ones and keep their shots out. El hermano Adrián Burgos quedó totalmente identificado con River, a pesar que no salió de las inferiores del club millonario, sino que lo hizo de Ferrocarril Oeste. Pero en el 94 llegó al club de Núñez y tuvo sus mejores años acá en Argentina. Entre los títulos que ganó, el más recordado por los hinchas es la Copa Libertadores 1996, torneo en el cual tuvo grandes atajadas y grandes actuaciones. A true emblem of Atlético Madrid. There's a reason why he was the one who came out of the pipework when the team returned to the first division, after two seasons in the hell of the B. However, the rebelliousness with which he made his saves was also on display when he was off the pitch. In 2003, he was diagnosed with kidney cancer and at the insistence of the doctors who said he had to undergo surgery immediately, Burgos, who had a league game that weekend, made his decision. I will have the operation on Monday. This Sunday, we play against Mallorca. Extrañaron la motivación de ir a entrenar. Yo llegaba dos horas antes del entrenamiento. Le decía, ¿qué haces acá tan temprano? Le digo, ¿te echa tu mujer? Le digo, no, me voy antes de que me eche.